Okay, the recording started. Let's hope it runs. Been there, Andy says he's been there, buddy. Is, hey, Andy, is that not the best barbecue you've ever put in your mouth, buddy? Man, their ribs are just lip smacking good. Matter of fact, that's what we had this past weekend was Hutchins Barbecue. Andy, where are you from? Are you from here in North Texas? Cool, cool. Live in Arkansas. But he worked in Texas. That's great. I, it is great barbecue. Well, I just want to introduce myself real quick. Got us another full house tonight. It's great to see everyone. My name is Kerry Miller, and this is our Wednesday night coaching session. Uh, and uh, we have it every single Wednesday night. And uh, really, really enjoy bringing it to you. And it's an absolute pleasure to see everybody. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to come in and, and have a little bit of training. And uh, what, what we're going to show you tonight is, is, is different. You're going to say, Carrie, have you lost your mind? That's not what you've taught us uh, for the last two years. But I'm fixing to change the entire concept of our reputation management system. And, and, and if you guys will listen, like I, like I say every week, if, if you listen, some will, some won't. And uh, <coughs> those that do usually go out and make money in the next few weeks, taking what I, I train on here. Uh, I know we trained on some... Uh, stuff from Roger Pineda just a few weeks ago and some people have taken on board <coughs> his concepts and have really turned their business around. So, but it's good to see everybody. Let me uh, take a quick drink. Somebody just messaged me, said they're playing that casino game on their Android. Is that not the best game you've ever seen? Now you need to turn it off because <laughs> I'm rolling on. If you haven't joined our YouTube channel, I want you to join our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash instantappwizard.com. Uh, that's where all of our training goes and anything else that I'm working on will go up there first. And also like us on our Facebook group, uh, Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash instantappwizard. Uh, if you uh, do not remember training, if you'll just type, type app call, A-P-P-C-A-L-L, -L, all one lowercase word. To 904-548-3411, uh, you'll get a reminder. And always and forever, and it's a, I'm always amazed, someone will always say, Carrie, what was the the uh, uh, link for training? It's instantappwizard.com forward slash training. Instantappwizard.com forward slash training. And probably one of the hottest places we have right now is our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash instantappwizard. And I just go to the group, log in. Uh, as I'll say every week, because we have a lot of people, they'll sign up under one name, and then on their Facebook is something totally different. If I reject you in the Facebook group, it's because I didn't recognize your name when I uh, matched it against the database. If you get rejected, just send me an email at Kerry, K-E-R-R-Y. That's Kerry, K-E-R-R-Y, at instantappwizard.com, and say, hey, I'm trying to get in the group. Uh, this is my... Uh, name for Instant App Wizard, but uh, I'm, I'm using this name here in my uh, Facebook page. Tonight I want to talk about reputation management. We haven't talked about reputation management in a long time, and I am fixing to explode the absolute miss of everything I've ever said about reputation management in our app. I'm fixing to totally change the concept. I'm fixing to totally change the way you look at it. I'm fixing to totally change the way you sell it. Uh, before this is over with, it'll to, in your mind and in your customers' minds, this should be the only reputation management tool that they ever need. My first question is, is are you selling it or, or are you giving it away or are you doing anything with the reputation management tool inside the, uh, how you doing, Raj, inside the App Wizard program? How powerful is it? I'm going to tell you how powerful it is. You know, if you're using the other reputation management sites, and, and, and I'll, I'll just name a couple of the popular ones, Yelp and, and, and uh, Urban Spoon and Foursquare, those sites, if, you're, if, if your customers are using those sites, those sites are delayed. When I say delayed, the customer gets home and, and they start getting pissed off because they had a hair on their food, they didn't say anything, and, and you know, they're, they're getting mad, and now they're going to go in and write something back. They, they enjoyed the experience. 
everything is good. Ramon says he's giving it away. You need to quit doing that, Ramon. And and uh, you know they the, they they had a great experience, but that that one little thing was stuck in their head. They didn't know how to tell the waitress or the waiter, uh, but and and they did not know how to uh, put the information out. Well, let me tell you something. Yelp is yesterday's news. Foursquare is yesterday's news. That's something that's happened in the past. What you need is something that's happening right now. What you need is something that's instantaneous. What you need right now is something that is going to actually help the business. And I'm fixing to show you how to use the reputation management tool like you've never used it for, at all. And I want you to forget all the other reputation management sites. Don't worry about them. We're going to talk about them. And I'm going to show you how to kind of squelch them, okay? By doing a couple of things, I'm going to talk about a couple of things and and tell you some, give you some ideas how to make more money, okay? Let let me let me start off real quick by saying, how many of you are in the business to give everything away? Anybody here just likes to give everything away and not make any money? If there is, I want you to come work for me, because. Uh, if you're going to give it away and do that, then you probably work for free. And, I, and nobody's saying, no, they don't do that, okay? We're in the business to make money, okay? We're here for one reason, and that is to make money. So many times we take all the tools in the tool bag and we throw it all into one lump sum and we say, okay, this is 90 bucks and I'm going to give you everything. Quit doing that. And we're going to start tonight by showing you reputation management. Quit giving it away. If you're not using it at all, if you're not selling it at all, uh, yeah, I, I will, Rich. This recording will go out the exact same way. If you're not using it at all and you're not doing it at all, I want you to start tomorrow using reputation management the way I'm going to teach you tonight. Because if you'll do that and if you'll explain, good night, Rich, if you'll explain that to your customers and show them the instantaneous feedback that they can get, in this way, it'll be the most powerful reputation management tool on the streets. But you've got to do it this way. If you don't, you're just spitting in the wind. Okay? If you don't let them know the instantaneous responses that they can get, and you go in and train their teams, okay, how to do this exactly, it will change their business forever. For the biggies, TripAdvisor, Foursquare, Yelp, and Urban Spoon. If you've been with us for any length of time, you've heard me mention these sites a million times. I did an entire training on Foursquare. I've done training on Yelp and Urban Spoon. There's not much training on TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor is kind of new, getting kind of hot, getting kind of popular. Okay, But this is what I want you to do for this training. All right? And for all of you that have t listened to me for the last two years, you're going to think Kerry woke up this morning, hit his head walking into his office, and something happened. I want you to forget every one of them. Take them out of your, your daily vocabulary because we're not going to use them right now. We're not going to talk about them right now. I don't want you going in and telling your customers that you're going to help them with the reputation management and, and, and squelch the bad rep they got on Yelp. I could care less about Yelp, I could care less about Foursquare, I could care less about Urban Spoon, I could care less about TripAdvisor. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the majority of your customers don't know anything about them to begin with. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something first, okay, to help them gain knowledge about their business, and then we're going to use that information to actually build them a great reputation in their town for whatever business they have. This is superior for restaurants. And the app that I built for this training happens to be a restaurant app. Okay? So can everybody, and I know this is hard to do, and I'm going to ask you, and I want you to say yes, can everybody right now just, just throw all these other reputation management sites out of your brain for the next 45 minutes? Is there any possible way that you can say, Carrie, you're crazy. I, I, I've been selling against Yelp this whole time. Can everybody just forget it? Can everybody just say, yes, Carrie, I'll do that. Just give me a peace of mind and say, okay, no problem. We're, we're going to make that happen. Can everybody just type yes in the box real quick? Yes, 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 
Yes. <laughs> Yelp. <-hoo. laughs> That's right. Yelp. -hoo. Yelp. -hoo. That's exactly right. Let's talk about reputation management for a moment, and, and, and let's see, see who. Okay, Buckwheat. Let's see who rep, what reputation management is. Reputation management is the understanding or influencing of an individual or business's reputation. It was originally coined as a public relations term, but advancement in computing, the internet, and social media made it primarily an issue of search results. And that's what we're competing against. Okay? The, exactly what reputation management is, exactly, is exactly why you're fixing to go sell the tool that you're fixing to sell. Some parts of reputation management are often associated with ethical gray areas, such as astroturfing review sites, censoring negative complaints, or using SEO tactics to game the system and influence results. There are also ethical forms of reputation management, which are frequently used, such as responding. And I want you to listen to what I'm fixing to say right here. You see, reputation management isn't a Yelp site. Reputation management isn't a Foursquare site. Reputation management is taking care of the issue at hand immediately and fixing the problem so that you don't have to worry about, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> so that you don't have to worry about them going home and putting a bunch of crap on some website. You see, all a customer wants is customer service. Does everybody agree with that? Customers today, when you go into a place, and, you, and, and I've used this analogy before, and you go into a nasty restroom, the place is really nice, but you go into a nasty restroom, there's no paper, there's no towels, there's no nothing. Is that not the first thing that ticks you off? And the first thing that you think about when you leave is, man, you know what, this could have been a great place, but the bathroom was terrible. And I don't know what it is about bathrooms, but I have a pet peeve about bathrooms. I grew up in the military, and, and, and that's what I cleaned every day was toilets. And, and so to me, my pet peeve is the bathrooms. I want the bathrooms to be clean. There are also ethical forms of reputation management, which are frequently used, such as responding to customer complaints, asking sites to take down incorrect information, and using online feedback to influence product development. That's what we're going to be using. Online feedback through the reputation management system that's built into your system. Remember, I don't care about Yelp, I don't care about Urban Spoon, I don't care about Foursquare, I don't care about TripAdvisor, or any of the rest of them. Reputa reputation management is the practice of monitoring the reputation of an individual or brand addressing contents which are damaging to it, and using customer feedback solutions to get feedback or early warning signals to reputation problems. Let me tell you something. All the reputation management sites out there are not early warning signals. They're history. They're past tense. All that information is, is gone. Okay? The person that was probably there isn't probably there still there anymore. Okay? The guy that was making the bad chicken fried steak is probably gone. But guess what? That information could have been taken care of immediately through customer service. Most of reputation management is focused on pushing down negative search results. Reputation management may attempt to bridge the gap between how a company perceives itself and how others view it. Some of the ways to fix this, improving the tagging and search engine optimization of company published materials, such as white papers and positive customer testimonials in order to push down negative content. I'm going to show you about those customer testimonials in just a moment. Publishing original positive websites and social media profiles with the aim of outperforming negative results in a search. How many of you, when you go in and you talk reputation management to your people, do you sit down with them and say, okay, this is a, there's a couple of things we're going to do. We're going to start you a couple of blogs. We're going to build you a Facebook fan page specifically for your reputation management. We're going to also build you a couple of splash pages that do nothing but tout your good comments. And we're going to make sure that we post that for you. And, of course, that comes at a price because those are extras and add-ons. And you wind out with a reputation management system somewhere in the neighborhood of Oh, I don't know, three to seven hundred bucks. So that you can make sure that, that when people come to town, this is the place they want to go. 
85% of people will go to a search engine when they're getting ready to shop at a place or go eat at a place to see who they are. And if you're not building these splash pages for them and these little sites, <clears throat> I mean, you can get a splash page, you can get a, build a splash page for about 10 bucks, okay? And you can sell that, turn around and sell that splash, splash page for about 25, okay? Great, Chris, and, and, and I like the way you say that, buddy. Uh, Chris says, we prefer to be proactive and act before problems arise. We call it reputation marketing. That's, that's, I like that, Chris. Publishing original positive websites and social media profiles with the aim of outperforming negative results in a search. I'm going to go over here real quick. And this isn't going to take long. You guys will catch on pretty quick, I'm sure. Can everybody see this app that I built right here? Does everybody recognize that? Can anybody recognize this right here? Does anybody recognize the thumb up and thumb down? Anybody? Yes, yes, yes. This is probably the most important tool you have in your tool bag. Tool bag. Okay? Facebook likes? No, that has nothing to do with Facebook likes. Okay? Um, this little tool right here can make you a fortune. This tool alone. No other buttons. I put join our list on here because I, I want everybody to have the opportunity to join our marketing list. Okay? I want everybody to have the opportunity to come in here and give me their name and their email address. Okay? Everybody. And or their phone number, their cell number. All right, the rate us, very simple. All it is is the reputation management system. Now, I told you a while ago, I want you to forget all the other rep management sites. In reputation management, the most important thing is, and, and, and Chris said it a while ago, being proactive. Proactive means is squelching the problem before it ever becomes a problem. Taking care of the issues before they ever become an issue. Making things happen before it gets out of hand. It's extremely, extremely important that you do this. It's extremely important that you make that happen. It's extremely important that your customers understand that they have to make sure they fix the problems. You, you know what's amazing? Most people don't realize they've got a problem. Especially restaurants. Restaurants are the world's worst. They all think they're the best until customers quit coming and they don't know what the problem is. This tool right here can fix that. Thumbs up, okay, or thumbs down. Either way. Now, let's go over to the reputation management platform. Now, I've got my Foursquare information in here, and i got my Google Plus information in here. And if anybody, if you, you can put that in there or you can't. You don't have to. It doesn't matter. The reputation management system is going to work exactly the same. What's going to happen here is if anybody posts on Foursquare any bad information, they'll get a, or, or any good information, they'll get an email every day. Same thing with Google Places. What you have to do is make sure that the app is enabled. Okay? That's all you need to do is make sure that the app is enabled. Because I'm not really concerned about this right now. This is going to be our upsell. Does everybody follow where I'm at right now? Can everybody see where I'm at? We're building an in-house, instantaneous reputation management system, okay, that is going to send information immediately for immediate feedback so that the, the business owner can immediately fix the problem and address the issue, okay? Notification settings. This goes back to what I said last week. How many of you have added, how many of you have added texting to your customers uh, 
abscess week. Not old customers. How many of you have added new texting to your customers' apps this week? One person, two people, three people, three people. So with everybody sitting here right now, we lost somewhere between, let's say I'm the manager of the company, and all of you are my salespeople. I just lost somewhere around about 2,500 bucks. Now, if you were your sale, if you're the sales manager and you had your salespeople going out, and I want you to look at it this way. I want everybody to understand what I'm saying because I'm fixing to bring the concept of reality right to your forefront. You're the sales manager and all of your salesmen are going out and everybody on this call is your salesman. I'm the sales manager and your job is to go out and ensure that this, your customers are using the platform correctly, using the full value of the marketing platform and now using the full value of the reputation management platform and if, I'm telling you now, you cannot sell this reputation management platform and allow it to work properly unless you add texting to it. If you're not willing to put that in the pricing and make that happen, you might as well get off the tr training right now because it's not going to work. You see, reputation management is instantaneous. Yeah, we, 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 we fell into the Yelp trap and all that crap because that's yesterday's news and we think, oh, we can go fix that. You can't fix yesterday's news. We got to fix it right now. Okay. Most people only look at their Yelp page once a month, if that. Okay. So that's yesterday's news. This is instantaneous information. When someone has a bad day and they come in and they're sitting in my restaurant and they ordered a meal and, and they got the little card and I'm going to show you the cards I made up for this particular restaurant last night. And they've had a bad meal. I want my waitress to make sure to tell them, hey, if you would, would you please rate us? Just scan the card right there on your phone. Sure, I will. Because it sucked. Okay? And, and he's going to put that in there. But you know where that's going to go? It's going to go straight to management. Because it's an in-house, in-house controlled, managed, and ready to go management system to manage your customer service. Okay? That's very, very important. So let me get back to what I was saying. Okay? Now the emails go out immediately too. But this is what happens. People will answer, will read a text when? When do people read their text? Anybody? How quick does it take you to read your text? Immediately. My email goes off all day long. Okay? All day long. All day long. You know when I read it? When I want to get to it. When I get a text message, I pull my phone out of my pocket immediately. And I'm going to read it. Okay? Because I know it's something important. That email is just going to get lost with all the other emails until I decide to sit and read it. Text messaging, they're going to get the report immediately and they're going to see it immediately. That's a good point, VK. 97% 90, conversion rate on text messages. 95% of text messages are read within one minute. Thank you, Chris. Okay? That's how, <clears throat> that's how important that $15 is right there. So let me get back to the sales thing. I'm the sales manager, and all of y'all are coming in for a sales meeting. And you're all sitting at a big table, and I go around the table, and out of all of you, Three of you say, oh, yeah, I did my job today. I, I did my job. I, I signed up uh, uh, some new text messaging today. Because that's part of your job. Why is that part of your job? Because that's part of your income. Why is that part of your income? Because that's part of the package that controls just about everything we do with a mobile app. Okay? So as a sales manager, I go down and say, okay, 
uh, and, and if your name's Jim, and I'm not point, I'm just calling names. I'm not looking at the screen. Uh, Jim, Joe, James, Jack, and Jim. Okay, got two Jims working for me. Why didn't you sell text messaging? Well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, I wasn't quite sure how to put it in the package. I wasn't quite sure how to sell it. I wasn't quite sure how to make it happen. You guys all just told me, and ladies, every single one of you just told me why you needed text message marketing. Because the messages are read instantaneously. And we're going to go into the marketing platform next week. I'm not going to get deep into the marketing platform. But let me tell you something. When you're in that marketing platform and you're using mail, uh, email only and Facebook and Twitter, you're missing the most important thing that you can use. That's sending out that little special because you need people in that restaurant at 11 o'clock and you're going to send it out at 930 when people are starting to get hungry. And what are they going to do? I'm going to ask you one more time. When you get a text message, what do you do immediately? Everybody on here, read it, read it, read it, read it, open it, open it, open it, read it, read it. So you already understand the process that I'm talking about, okay? With this reputation management system, it's extremely, extremely, extremely important that you market this with texting. Or you're cheating your customer on probably one of the most important tools in his tool bag. And that's an instantaneous review system that they will get in their on their phone immediately when it's done. Immediately. And they have a chance to make comments. So you can almost know, you know, if they look up and they see that their waitress's name is Sheila, and they write in there and it says, you know what, Sheila's habits are terrible. I had two hairs in my suit, blah, 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 blah. You pretty much know where that customer is setting. What can, that, what can that owner of that business do? He can walk over that table and he can take care of the problem right then. Immediately. Doesn't have to worry about anything else. You can build a, you could build a business tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Never sell anything else in this app. I highly recommend you do because this is a great opportunity to get them into reputation management first and then put coupons in on it. And I'm not talking about on the same app. Keep this app separate. This is an individual app that you're going to sell, you're going to get a monthly fee for, and then you're going to build on it. We're going to talk about building on it in just a moment. So you build your little reputation management app, okay? They're able to come in here and put their information in here, all right? And we're going to do one more thing. What's the most important thing that we're going to do in order to market this reputation management site? Anybody tell me? Is Sherry Claiborne in here? What's the most important thing we can do to market this reputation management site? Anybody? Show it in action, demonstrate it, demo. I'm talking about from a customer point of view. Hey, Sherry, how are you doing? You got to market it. You've got to market it. Okay? How do we market it? What's the best tool we have for marketing? Table tents. Thank you, Chris. Table tents. Very simple. I got this. I got the logos off of the website. Got the two little fingers off of our website, and then went in and <clears throat> cleaned all the white off of it and made it transparent so it looks good. I went to qrstuff.com and put the Q, uh, put the put the QR codes on here. And this pretty much tells the customer exactly what to do. But not only does this tell the customer what to do, you're also going to make sure that your waitress says, uh, "Hey, we pr really appreciate your business, and we want to make sure that we serve you better." 
Could you just scan this code on your mobile device and rate us real quick? Or make the URL very short. Uh, one tap dot moby forward slash rate. Rate one, rate two, rate three, rate four, whatever it is. Okay? Make it very simple. Make all your reputation management uh, uh, codes two, two numbers or two letters. Make it simple. So when they, if they have to type it in, and you could put it in here. I didn't put it on here. I put a QR code scanner because I want them to scan that QR code because I want to track it. Okay? That's why I do it. But that's just me. But you could put the QR code and the, and the address right here. You may want to get a special URL and redirect it to, that, to this and put that on there and not use the one tab. There's a million ways to do it, but you've got to drive them to the reputation management site. You have to do that. Okay? Does everybody, does everybody follow me when I say forget the other sites? Does that make sense to everybody? When I'm talking about selling this one particular instrument, okay, and should the customer be asked if they have a QR scanner before just telling them to scan? No. Let the customer tell you. Every phone today, every phone that's come in and out in the last year to year and a half comes with a scanner on it. Trust me, people know how to scan QR codes. Okay? Yeah, a service version of the How's My Driving sticker. You know? I mean, this is the most important tool you can be selling right now. Because it's hot. I don't know how many of you got a, a Sirius Radio and you listen to Fox News. I listen to it all the time because I like it. There's a reputationmanagement.com. Reputationmanagement.com advertises on Fox News about every 20 minutes. And it's the most listened to news station in the United States. So people understand reputation management. Businesses understand reputation management. This is what businesses don't understand about reputation management. They think they can go look at their Yelp site every 60 days and say, oh man, I need to fix that. Because they don't understand instantaneous results. Because the other reputation management sites are not instantaneous. Usually it's the guy down the street who wants to shut you down and bring all his your customers to his business. Usually it's those who are putting out crap on there anyway. So forget about those sites. Let's fix the problem right now when it's happening. So you go in. Chris says sites like ReputationX. Matter of fact, I was in ReputationX just a few minutes ago. Charges $5,000 a month to fix bad reps. That's crazy. Okay? Crazy. But people are paying it. I'm telling you right now they're paying it. Does everybody understand the concept of this site? Let's not put anything else in it. I don't want to see videos in here. I don't want to see a bunch of crap in here. I don't want to see 57 buttons. I don't want to see your Facebook page. I don't want to see click to calls. I don't want to see any of that stuff. Does everybody understand the concept of this right here? This is the most important thing I'm focusing on right now. And I want to make sure that if there's any question at all, about what this site is. That's right. Kiss. Kiss it. Kiss it. Do not change a thing. Keep it simple. Silly. Okay? This is an app in itself. You realize you could, you could go in. <laughs> I didn't want to say that, Andy. I, I did not want to say that. This right here, you could go in and get $49 a month every single month, okay? That's for maintenance. And then another $30 a month, and that $30 a month is just going to climb because you're going to got the $15 for the texting. You're going to double the price, $30 a month. So that's what, $49, $79 a month. You could sell this all day long. Go to Reputation H, just like Chris is talking about here, and you'll see where people are charging thousands of dollars to do just this. And I'm fixing to show you how to build this up to thousands of dollars in just a second. 
Okay. So reputation management, reputation only. You've got to make sure you have texting. That I still don't get it. Where is it on my panel? I'm not sure what you're asking. Where's what, Michael? Reputation management? Okay. Go to general settings. It's the very bottom tab right here. It says reputation management on it. Okay, you got it there, buddy? All you got to do is go in and build it. The only thing you need to do is enable it. The notification of the settings, you can put up to three phone numbers and three emails. Manager, assistant manager, and floor manager, or whatever, whoever wants to get that. Okay? Same thing with the emails. Build it out. You can disable it. Now, this is very important. Let me show you something. There's a couple of ways to do this. Rick Farrell says, and I appreciate you guys posting this stuff. Rick says, Max Exposure Social Media Management charges $200 per month for occasionally posting on Facebook and emailing the client if they spot any negative reviews on Yelp and Google Local. Guys, you could do that all stinking. Go get you 100 customers, and you could do three a day every single day for $200 a month, and you'll never have to work a day again in your life. You can be done by 9 o'clock in the morning and go golfing, go fishing, go boating. Take the kids to the Six Flags or whatever you want to do. Once every 24 hours if people are using their individual phones. If your business is using a, a tablet or something and allowing the customer to use their tablet, set it up anytime. Okay? That way they can go in and do it over and over and over and over and over. Okay? You, 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 give them a, you give them an app for every single one. Now, you can put the same phone numbers in there. Or you can put, if, if you've got one management team that manages them all that wants to get that, put the same app in every store. Now, if I was doing that, I would charge more than $49 a month. Does that make sense, Chris? It could all be the same thing, yep. And, and, and whatever these numbers are right here, these notification settings, you may put, you know, the manager of the store and, and, and the general manager who's overwatching everything or something like that. Or for the, you know, just, I would probably, honest, honestly, man, just for the money's sake, I would probably give them a discount and, and charge every store is what I would do. You know, maybe multiple stores is uh, instead of forty nine a month, you get thirty nine a month and twenty dollars on the texting or something like that. That that's probably what I would do. I mean, I would say I'd sit down and put a pencil to it, but that would make more sense to me because you always want people in the store to get the information. But that's a very good question. So all you have to do is enable it anytime if they're using their own systems. Once every twenty four hours, if they're using, if, if they're allowing the customers to use their phone. Set up the notification settings. Make sure you are tying in the, uh, the texting. My texting philosophy is this. Click the wholesale price and double it. Okay? And you're still below what the market value is for texting. Way below. All right? Way, way below. Okay. I want to ask again. I want to make sure because I, I, I got some I got some great questions out of that last one. Does anybody understand and exactly what I've done here? Setting up nothing but a rep management site and selling nothing but a rep management site. Now, when you build their other app, you can always go in there. But I tell you what, I would not want this on a on an app. And let me tell you why. You get a, a, a an employee, okay? who is pissed off, and it's on your normal app, and most people aren't going to save this. They're going to scan it, they're going to use it, and they're going to turn it off. Okay, it's done. If it's on the app, you get a bunch of people pissed off, and they're going to sit out there, and they're gonna, they're, they know that it, that's costing you money. They're going to sit there, and they're going to do it every day and cost you money. 
I wouldn't put a reputation, this reputation management system on a regular app. Never. Okay? Does everybody understand that? Standalone system, all by itself, automatic, immediate response, get to the, take care of the problem. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know because I will go back. And the table tents. But make them nice table tents. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. I wish I could put it all out in one day, buddy. <laughs> Greg says, would you please quit, uh, stop causing me to redesign my prize pages and sales collateral. This is just something you need to add. Just put a sticker on there. But um, make some nice table tents, okay? Uh, Greg had talked about last week, you know, using P. He's, he's teaming up with Pepsi on a couple of things. Go to those, go to whoever's supplying their beer. If the beer company has table tents on their tables, go to them and say, hey, listen, we're starting a, a reputation management. Let me bring you some artwork so you can put that on the table tents. They will do it, and the table tents are free, Okay. Charge for, I would charge them for the artwork. This took me probably, I think for both of these, and the only thing I had to change was the picture at the top. I think it took me 15 minutes to, to design these two table tents. If it took that, it took me longer to bring up my computer, I think. I would charge, I would charge $1.99 for the setup. $1.99 for the setup, and probably somewhere around $49.99 a month for the hosting fee and the management fee, and then for the texting fee. I would start them off at 500 texts. I'm going to tell you they're going to go to 1,000 real quick. Real quick, especially if they have three phone numbers in there. Okay? So you, and you may want to start them off at 1,000 to begin with. So, so go for 50 bucks on the, on the texting. So altogether, you're talking about 99 bucks for their reputation management in-house system. And that's how you guys have to sell this. This is a customized, personalized, instantaneous response system so that they can manage their customer service. Does that, does that make sense to everybody? You may want to listen to the tape again because I probably could not say what I just said ever again. But that's what this is. An exceptional system for your customers to use. And, and, and let me say again, do not, do not, do not go out Kerry, I understand what you're saying, but with our ability to drive additional revenues to the online sites, adds about, wait, Greg, I hadn't got there yet. You're going to charge them for that too, okay? You're going to have to change your sheet again. This has nothing to do with Yelp and all that other crap, all right? Nothing to do with that. In-house, instantaneous. Okay, instantaneous, whatever I said, right now, happens right now, gives them the information they need. They don't need to be worried about Yelp, right? You know what, if they can take care of the problem right now, you know what's going to happen on Yelp? That person that was going to put a bad comment on there is going to leave out if he even goes to Yelp. Okay, if he even goes to Yelp. Most people don't. And let me tell you why I don't like Yelp and Foursquare and all that stuff tied to the reputation management. Does anybody know what I'm fixing to say why I do not like that? Anybody at all, I've said it for two years about putting extracurricular crap in your apps that does what? It does what to you when they have to do something in Yelp? It takes them out of the app. That's right. It requires them to log in. It takes them away from what you're doing. Okay? And you do not want to do that in your app. When you guys put all that extra stuff in there and you go into... Uh, Custom content, you got this link and that link and this link and that link and this link. If you do not iframe that, it takes them out of the app, okay? They're not going to be in there very long anyway. You've got to maximize that time, okay? So that's why I don't want you to worry about that other stuff. Don't take them away from the app. Don't do anything. Let them do this first, and then they can do the rest. Now let's talk about managing. Let's talk about Yelp and all that other stuff, okay? 
Let's talk about bad reputations, and I can't remember who said it a while ago, Chris, maybe, or somebody, was talking about what these sites do. And let me tell you exactly what they did. They've got 100 employees, they've got salespeople all over the country, and they're selling this reputation management system. And old Jimmy John, making $10 an hour, sitting behind the desk, and he's got about 50 companies that he's managing. Oh, let me pull up, uh, let me pull up uh, Dave's auto parts. Nope, nothing there. So he doesn't have to cut, cut, cut and paste anything. Let me pull up Jimmy's hair salon. No, I haven't been one there in 10 years. Boy, they're still paying us $3,000 a month. Let me pull up uh, Jack's Restaurant and Hamburger Stand. Whoops, Jack's got, uh, Jack got a good reputation right there. Uh, I mean, a good comment. Let me cut and paste that, put it in an email, and send this over to them. And you just paid for that. So how do you fix bad reputations? Let me tell you what you want to do. Okay? Let me tell you what you want to do. First off, you want to make sure if they've got bad, bad reps, okay, and, and I can tell you, you can go to Yelp. Most, pla most places don't have a whole string of stuff on their deal. All right? If they do, they're probably not in business anymore. But you need, to, you need to work on some online press releases, give authoritative websites in order to promote brand presence, brand presence, brand presence, brand presence, okay? We talk about branding all the time to suppress the negative content. You want to pile on Google with all the information you can, new information, okay? Uh, yeah, exactly. And, and I'm telling you right now, that happens all the time, Rick. You, you want to make sure that you're pounding on great information, new information, updated information, not stuff from 2010, okay, good SEO information and good written information in a, in a blog or, or take that news release and, and, and put it in a blog and keep that information prevalent and keep it current. Take all those good reviews that you're getting from that reputation management site, put it in a WordPress site and give it a nice name and, and, and let those spiders crawl that thing and let it put it on the first page of, of Google, okay? The more content that you put in there, you link it back and forth together, all that information is running, and you need to charge them for that because that's what these other companies are doing. But let me tell you what these other companies don't have. These other companies don't have an instantaneous response system that they can go in and put a QR code on that table. They can go in and put a QR code to Yelp. But let me tell you something. When I'm sitting down eating a nice steak, and, and, and I don't want it to get cold, and I'm sitting there, and I'm fat, and I'm full, and I'm, I'm ready to go home, I'm not going to sit there and log into Yelp. But I will f take two seconds to click on one button and type my name and a little bit of information in there. Why? Because I don't have to log into anything. And guess what? Bam! As soon as you click that button, my phone goes ding, ding, ding. I look down there and say, man, there's another happy customer. Good job, guys. Or... Sherry, this is the third bad review I've had on you tonight. I need to see you soon as work's over. And Sherry starts crying and she goes ahead and quits work. Okay? Uh, submitting legal takedown requests if someone believes they've been liable. Good luck on that. Getting mentions of the business or individual and third-party sites that rank highly in Google. Creating blogs, pretending to be a different person that shares the same name in order to push down negative search results on the actual person or brand. Proactively responding to public criticism stemming from recent changes. Let me tell you something. It takes about 10 minutes to cut and paste into these websites. You could make 10 a day. Okay? SEO them up. Put the right information in there. In, in Dallas, Texas, it's going to take a little bit of time to get to the front page. You want to make sure you set them up a reputation page on Facebook. Not just a Facebook site, but a, a reputation page on Facebook. And you can charge them for that. Hey, we're going to take all your comments and we're going to keep your site updated. All, everything that comes in today, and that's going to cost you $450 a month. And you're going to do that every single day because what are you, what are you going to do? Put, your, put one of your blanks, put one of the blanks in there as your email address. And let that information download and cut and paste that data. Put that data in a in a, uh, a WordPress blog. Put that data in a in a mobile site. Put it put it everywhere, okay? And charge them for that. That's your upsells. 
You take all that stuff away from the app. You've built the app. You're charging for the app. They've got that app. They've got that in-house internal system. No one else is out there selling an in-house internal system, okay, that's instantaneous, that gets them the reviews they want on the, on the spot. Nobody. You guys could go out and change reputation management tomorrow. Or as somebody said, reputation marketing tomorrow. But we get so tunneled, and, and I'll be honest with you, uh, until I saw the light the other day, I, I think I was talking to Woodrow, and it, and it was like a bolt of lightning came through the ceiling and hit me right in the head. I thought, what in the heck have I been teaching? This is totally wrong. Forget all the other crap, and let's look at this system for what it is. An instantaneous system that gives them the information immediately. Okay? And that's what we want. That's what your customers are looking for. They're looking for the opportunity to get those reviews right now, not two weeks from now from Yelp or Foursquare or Urban Spoon, which I don't, I never see anybody promoting Urban Spoon, but this is important. You guys can start tomorrow if you'll listen to me, if you'll listen to me. Yeah, I'll post, somebody, somebody just asked if I could post those game links again. I'll post them again. Uh, you could go out tomorrow and start your reputation management company, a totally separate company from your app company, and do just this. Hire your four or five people to go out and do this, and you could literally make six figures this year. Six figures by doing just this. And if I'm lying, I'm dying. Do you realize how long it took me to make this? It took me longer to go into general settings and wipe out all these page links right here. Okay? Wipe out all these page links right here. All right? In order just to have those two buttons on there. It took me longer to do that than it did to upload the logo and set up the reputation management. Why? And this is an old site I had. I just converted it over. But the only thing I needed to do was enable that. And depending on what I want to do, yes, enable rating. Once every 24 hours, save now. And come in here and make sure that my notification settings are set up, what the phone numbers are and what the email addresses are. Ten minutes, guys. And, and, and just at the $49 a year, you're talking, uh, what, 500 plus? And if you're just using the 500 texting, that's another 15, so that's another 100 and, what, 80 bucks or so a year? Just off the top of my head, I don't know what it is exactly, but that's a lot of money. Go out and get you 100 of those customers. And this is an, this is an easy sell. This isn't difficult, because everybody wants to know, every business owner wants to know what's going on in their business. And you, you can't get it cheaper. You, you can't get that kind of information for less than 100 bucks. There's people that pay people to come in and shop undercover for that. You, what do you need a preset template for? It takes literally 15 seconds. I tell you what, this is a preset template. Let me show you something. I, I'll show you right now. This template's preset. Let me find it. This is all the way down at the bottom. Duplicate side. There it is. All I got to do is change the information. One button, click it. Then I'm going to have to go back in and I'm going to reset. I have to reset up the other reputation management part. So just duplicate the site. Yeah, you'll have to go in and set it. You have to go in and put in whatever information is right here. Okay. But I'm telling you, if you can't set this site up in under 10 minutes, you need to practice. I mean, it literally, that's, that's, it's two buttons. Two buttons. Do you recommend promoting the Reputation app initially, then a company mo Yes, yes, I would do that first. Because let me tell you what's fixing to happen. And Enrico says, do you recommend promoting the Reputation app initially, then a company mobile web app? Yes, and let me tell you why. Do you not think that if, if, when those, those, those uh, comments and reviews start coming in, and that manager is able to take care of that, that he's not going to buy anything that you have? He's going to buy everything you have. 
And let me tell you what you want to do. Let, let's say it's a restaurant, and, and I'm on restaurants because I know restaurants are big on reputation management. Okay? So with restaurants, reputation management is huge. But what else does a res restaurant going to use? He's going to use loyalty rewards. Now, let, let me tell you, let me tell you what, what everybody does. And the reason I know they do it is because I ask every time y'all call me. Is, is you give everything away. And that's the worst thing you can do. Okay? Now you've got a chance to go in and piece everything together. Hey, John, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at your mobile app. Let's, let's, do you have a mobile app? Well, no, I don't have a mobile app. Well, I was looking at your site, and I noticed you didn't, okay? I, I was looking at that saying, you know, uh, your site didn't look very good. Let me show you what it looks like on a mobile phone. And you know what you do? You say, now let me show you what your rep management site looks like. This is exactly the same way your site's going to look. Oh, wow. Well, what do we got to do to get that started? Well, let's sit down and talk about it. Do you use coupons? Uh, would you use loyalty rewards? You know, we can build a separate database for your bar. We can build a separate database for your, for your uh, daily specials. We can do a whole bunch of things. So let's sit down and map this out, and I can tell you exactly what it's going to cost you. Now, when you do that, he's expecting a huge price. Now, you may only do $29 for the uh, coupons, and you may turn around and do <coughs> $17, $18, $20 for the uh, loyalty rewards. And, 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 and the restaurant menu, you're going to charge out the, out the yin-yang for it because because I'm going to tell you right now, if you've ever did a, uh, done a restaurant menu, you better charge appropriately for it or you will kick yourself for about 60 miles. And I'm speaking from experience, okay? I'm speaking from experience. So, yes, do I think this would be an absolute awesome tool to open the door with? Absolutely. Now, I'm not saying don't go out and sell your mobile app because some of you are selling mobile apps like candy, okay, and getting, and getting big bucks for them. So don't stop that. But if you're putting this on the normal site, if you're, if you're adding this in on the site, okay, stop. Don't do it anymore. Make it its own standalone independent system that you can truly, I'm telling you, make a fortune on. You can make a fortune on it. Then go in. Let's start, hey, John, you know, let's start getting let's start getting your brand out there more. Let, let's start building your business a little more. Let, when, 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 when people come to town to the football game, I live in Commerce, Texas. We've got a college here, Texas A&M College. When people come to town, and they, go, they search for restaurants, let's make sure that every single thing on the front page when they search Restaurants Commerce Texas is you. We're going to build you a half a dozen splash pages. We're going to build you up a blog. I want to make sure that your Facebook uh, has a separate page specifically for this. And next thing you know, this guy's spending, he, he's making a, an extra $100,000 a year off of you. Do you not think he's going to spend $1,000 a month for you? Absolutely he will. It's all in how you present the product. It's all in how you do what you do. Thank you, Rico. Okay? Any questions? I don't want to go too much longer here. It's 9 o'clock, and I know people start falling asleep at 9, and we got a lot of people overseas that uh, set up just for this. But it's sure good to see everybody tonight. Any questions at all? Did I make sense at all what I said? I've been, I, I tell you what, my passion for this has been so strong this last three days, I hadn't been able to sleep. I could not wait for tonight's training. It, it's just absolutely, that this has just taken over my mindset, this one little tool right here. Any questions? No, create your own sales material. You know, we could create sales. Let, let me tell you what happens, and people ask us all this t all the time. Is there any sales material created for this? We create sales material, and then next thing you know, it's changed 57 times because everybody wants something different. This is your sales material right here. Hang on a second. I'm going to show you a sales material. You can literally print this thing off in five seconds on a, on a heavy card. Right there is your sales material. 
And let me tell you why. If you missed the Roger Pineda show just a few weeks ago, you could walk in with this, scan this right here, have your phone number in there, and uh, matter of fact, scan that right there. If you got your phones, go ahead and scan that. How do you incorporate QR code marketing with this? I went to QRStuff.com. Roger Pineda, he's one of our six-figure resellers out in Arizona who doesn't add anything to anything. Go in and, go in and look at the, uh, the trainings. But you go ahead and scan that. That's got it. Matter of fact, that's got my phone. You guys go start scanning it, and it'll start. Uh, it'll start dinging my phone. I'll turn it on right now. <clears throat> Everybody scanning it. Anybody scanning it? Please do it. Can I move the pickup? Uh, let me see here. Probably not. I tell you what, let me do this. Is that better? Is that a little bit better for you? Oops. Okay, there you go. Thank you. You're you're very welcome. You know what? I will say this about each and every one of you that come to this training. Y'all are the nicest people I've ever talked to in my life. Y'all are so polite. And that's how simple it is, guys, ladies. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? That was the old thumbs up alert. Happened just that quick. And I pull it up and I open it up and, and I'm the business owner. And I can see exactly what's going on right now. <laughs> I know, that's from Andy. I, I knew that as soon as I saw great ribs. I want tequila. <laughs> that's pretty funny, buddy. Uh, you, somebody asked the question, Mark, did you see how fast that's happening? I mean, just as you guys are doing it, I'm getting those alerts just that quick. And and, and it, it's just rolling in, rolling in. And and that's the way it works. And and I get the, get the reviews right on my phone. Slick, 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 great job. You know, that's awesome. Guys, it don't get much better than that. And I'm telling you right now. There's going to be some of you who are going to listen. When I, and I, I'm going to, this is my favorite thing. Um, th this is my favorite thing to say every week. Some of you are going to listen and make a lot of money. The rest of you are going to get off this call. And I'm going to tell you why I know this, because this happened when I did the Roger Pineda thing. And if you didn't watch the Roger Pineda thing, you need to make sure you watch it. I love that sound going off. You guys just keep it up. Roger Pineda put out exactly what he's doing to make six figures a year. And I had somebody call me and say, you know what, that was a great training call, but I changed all of this stuff up. Then guess what? You're probably not going to make six figures a year because you just took exactly what was making six figures a year and changed it. If you will take this app exactly the way I taught you tonight, set up your texting, set up everything. And if you don't have texting on your own app, you're not going to be able to demonstrate this because you hear my phone going off. That, that's, that's, that's the reviews coming in. And you need to be able to go in and when you do this and scan that QR code and they need to hear that phone ring. So make sure that you do that. Okay? Make sure you do that. Chris in St. Louis, where it's nice and cold tonight. Okay? Any other questions? So now you see how it works. Everything's happening. You scan the QR code, blah, blah, blah. And you can go out tomorrow. I'm telling you. You can go out tomorrow and start making money. Yeah, you're right, Andy. That'll blow restaurant owners' minds. You're you're absolutely right. Yeah, just go in and set up a texting account. Set up a 500 texting account for your app. 15 bucks a month. Just go to your app right here. Let me show you. Sure. 
go right here and just add texting and this little box will come up right here text credits okay like here add text service come up here and just start you know just do a I do a fifteen hundred uh, a fifteen dollar a month account you're gonna use it for demo purposes the most important thing is is that owner has to see this system work if you go in there with just email only you you've blown it I'm just gonna tell you if you're gonna do that don't even don't even bother to go sell the system you've blown it BK I haven't seen you in a while buddy you've been doing all right I hear you buddy I hear you BK said he's ready to make money any questions? Any other questions? I'm going to close with this and then I won't say anything else. This little drop down box right here. Thank you, Jerry. This little drop down box right here is your bread and butter. This tech service is your bread and butter. It's monthly. It renews every month. Okay? You keep it rolling. And it's your bread and butter. Start selling texting. You get you have to sell texting with the rep management system. I'm just I'm just telling you. If you don't, they're not going to keep it very long because they're not going to get instantaneous results. Hey, thank you, Chris, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it, brother. And thank, thank you for your input tonight. Thanks, Rick. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. It's been a pleasure, man. To, to, this has been the most exciting training I've put together in a long time. And, and it's just because I had this epiphany of, of, and, and this aura that come about around me, man, and, and my hair started falling out, my fingers started tingling, and I thought, man, what the heck have we been doing here? we got the greatest system in the world, and, and, and I've been teaching it wrong. If you do it like this, guys, you're going to make a ton of money. God bless each and every one of you, and, and it's great to see you, man. Thanks so, 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 so much. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you so very much. Thanks, Ramon. Ramon says he's never giving anything else away. <laughs> hey, I like this too, buddy. Thanks, Roger. Thanks, Rico. Y'all have a great night. Training will be up. Tomorrow, Panida, Panida, P I N E D A. I'm pretty sure that's correct. P I N E D A. Roger Panada. Roger says yes, that's correct. That's right, BK. If you've already sold them an app, go back and sell them the reputation management. You hit the nail on the head, BK. I'm glad you closed with that, brother. Panada, yes, Panada. I called him Panada forever, and then one day after about two years, we've been, we've been friends. He said, you're saying my name wrong. All right, guys, good night, man. God bless, and I'll see you next Wednesday. I'll see you in the Facebook group. It's been a great training.